Hi, this is Steve, and today I'm going to show you my home-built screen printing exposure unit. When I started screen printing, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money, uh, so I decided to uh, build the equipment uh, that I was going to use in screen printing uh, because it was a lot cheaper, and uh, I wasn't sure I wanted to make the investment uh, in screen printing uh, just to do it as a hobby. So the first uh, piece of equipment I started with was the exposure unit um, so that I could expose the screens and uh, so that's the first piece of equipment I built. I made a video on this uh, about three years ago. Uh, it was a quick video. I've gotten a lot of requests to make uh, something a little more in depth. Um, so I'm going to uh, show you a little more about uh, the screen printing unit and uh, maybe give you some ideas so you can build your own. Okay, so basically this is the exposure unit. Um, an exposure unit basically is just a, a box with fluorescent uh, fixtures in it, 24-inch um, fluorescent tubes. Um, they look just like regular fluorescent tubes, but uh, they're a special black light tube. And so the main part is the box. And then I built mine on a 2x4 frame uh, so that I didn't have to have a, a separate table. I also put casters on the bottom that made it easy to roll around the room. I put some strips of wood uh, underneath so that I could store screens underneath there and some other stuff. So if you... Uh, didn't want the frame and everything, you could just build a simple box that would sit on a table and uh, you wouldn't need to build the frame and everything, you would just build the box. So basically this box is built with two by four frames. I got some pieces of wood on the outside to enclose it and that's about it. If you, uh, you just need to make sure that the box, this box is 24 inches square and uh, I think that's probably about 10 inches deep. But you want to measure your fixture so that you've got two inches of uh, distance between the fluorescent tubes and the glass. So whatever depth that is uh, that you need for your fixtures and your tubes, and yeah, plus two inches. So that's basically uh, the outside. I've got my cords running in. I just drilled a hole. I've got my cords running in for my uh, fixtures that I plug into a timer. And I'm probably going to make a video that's going to go more into how I use the timer so that I don't have to, it's all automatic. And uh, so that's, that's it there. Uh, I've got a switch to control some lights inside, uh, some extra lights, and I'll show you that. And then I've got a receptacle. This receptacle is to plug the timer into. But again, uh, you don't need to go to that extreme. All you need to do is just, you could just unplug the fixtures. Um, I put a cord end on them. You could just unplug and plug the fixtures in manually and time it and just unplug it when you're done. So uh, that's the outside of the box. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll move the camera. We'll take a take a look at the inside of the box. Okay, so I got the glass off here. Uh, took it out so that uh, you could take a look at it. Uh, this glass I got from a glass company. It's a quarter inch tempered glass. It's safety glass. Um, so if it shatters, it won't shatter into uh, um, uh, sharp uh, pieces of glass and I also had them bevel the edges so that it's not sharp. Um, I don't remember how much this piece of glass cost. It wasn't it wasn't too much. Um, I've got some information on my website and when I went through the build and I'm sure it's on there. This glass is also unfiltered. Sometimes a glass like glass for buildings and homes will have a UV coating that blocks the UV 
Uh, you don't want any UV blocking in the glass because the UV is what you want to pass through the glass in order to burn your screen. So make sure that it's uh, unfiltered, uh, tempered uh, plate glass. So I'm going to put this over here because I don't want to break this. Okay, so these are the tubes. Um, these are, get one of these out of here. These look like regular 24 inch fluorescent tubes, but they're a special black light tube. It's an F20 T12 BL. I ordered these specially from uh, a lighting supply in my area. I do have some links on my website where you can get these. Uh, you can order these online. And these tubes at the time were right around $12 or $13 each. Um, these are a special tube. Uh, again, unfiltered black light. The black lights that you buy in the department stores are filtered so that they don't damage your eyes. The fixtures in here, there's three two tube 24 inch fixtures that I picked up at the local home improvement store. So you get the, tw the two tube 24 inch fixtures and you mount them in here. Six tubes seem to work out good for me. And then uh, you wire them together on the plug so that when you plug them in, uh, you fire the whole thing. So what I'll do here really quick, I'll just step around here. I'm going to plug this in, give you an idea. So when I plug it in, the tubes light up for however long you want to uh, expose your screen for. And then when you're done, you can just unplug it and then you're all set. The other thing that I put in here, and you'll see these here, are two regular lamps with just compact fluorescent uh, uh, lights. I use the compact fluorescents. You can get them at you know any department store because uh, they don't produce a lot of heat. But what I did was I put these in here and. This just allows me, when I have the glass on here, to take tracing paper and if I want to clean up artwork or trace artwork, I put it on here, it backlights it, and then I can trace the artwork to create, to, to recreate artwork for burning screens. Um, so that works out pretty good. You don't need to do that, but I wanted to make it kind of dual duty. So that's basically about it. I am uh, going to make some more videos, so be sure to subscribe uh, to my channel. If you like this video, uh, please uh, give me a like rating and a thumbs up. That helps me out. And uh, I'm going to, again, I'm going to make more videos about uh, going more into detail about the screen printing unit and the other equipment that I've built and also uh, some videos on how to do it. If you want more information, I've got a link to my website down in the information box. And uh, I think that's about it. So I appreciate you watching and I hope this gives you some ideas for building your own screen printing exposure unit. Uh, and uh, again, I appreciate it and thanks a lot. Talk to you later.